Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play Need for Speed Underground 2. Alright, before we do the, or the Underground Racing League race, I forgot to do something last time. Small, but very important. Now that we have a sponsor, in the, in the, that sponsor being Edelbrock, let's say we actually put some decals on this car, indicating such a sponsor. All right, decals. Yo, crunch your parts and name them with sponsors' decals. Where do I want to put them? I want to put on the windshield. You know what? I think I'm probably just going to go with the uh, quarter panels. All right. Uh, I want to go with a one or a two. Well, let's see how what the uh, what it looks like. Where's Edelbrock? There it is. So. This is a little bit of a, uh, a bit of a, uh, I guess, testament to how you think you'll want to do your vehicle uh, by choosing the color of the decal. Because once you know, if you if you're going to be changing the color of your car, uh, you might want to choose a either white or black, whichever one you think will be more visible on that color. So in my case, I'm going to go with the white. I think I might go with a, a darker color with the. Uh, my new paint choice when I finally do get around to painting it. I will be painting the car, so yeah. Uh, do I want a big one or do I want too small? Yeah. Oh, do I want this? So I've got room for another one. And it does move it further up, too. Hmm. Oh, pardon me. Um. Let's see, what well, we, we would could put, if I were to go with this big one, I could put one on the back like that, that'd be one. One sponsor, I could put one on, on the windshields, that's two, and then you just need three more, and we've got six slots on the door. Uh, hmm, and I kind of don't want to cover up the GTS twin cam th thing that's, that it says there. So, you know what, I think I'll go with the small one. So, all right, let's uh, do that in slot one. And then the right quarter panel as well. Slot one. And there we go. And now our car is officially 1.00 stars. All right. Put your setup, and we're good to go. Oh, hey. From Rachel, Bayview's Best DVD Cover. Congratulations, your car has been selected to appear on the Bayview's Best DVD Cover. Head to the star on, the, on your minimap to meet the photographer. And yeah, as soon as you get uh, the correct star rating, you unlock a DVD color cover, obviously. So the photographer is pretty nearby, but let's go do the URL race first. Look at our car. If we can, no. Okay. Well, let's do this. Alrighty, here for subject URL. Whoa. <laughs> I don't. Know, I guess I could probably hear see Rachel saying "Yo, dog." But anyways, "Yo, dog," you're gonna face some stiff competition on the track tonight. Some of these guys don't exactly play fair, and they just as soon run over you as go around you. Pick a good line and stay alert, and you should make it to the finish. And yeah, so a distance of 1.021 miles, and the purse is $1,100. All right, let's go. Let's heat it up.
probably one of my favorite parts about this game, the URL races, because you don't have to deal with traffic. Except for the ones that are actually, you know, you're trying to beat in the race. <laughs> Oh yeah, that, that start kind of reminded me of a uh, what a, uh, a, vi a, a uh, viewer commented on, and believe it or not, I have no idea why this. I never clued into this while preparing for the LP, but using that nitrous purge at the beginning of a race does something for you. I believe it. I tested it. It doesn't work on drag races. I know that. I uh, tested a couple. I test. I tested circuit and drag races, just the simple ones. So I figure. It probably only works on circuit and sprint races. But, uh, yeah. You can get some extra points, which ultimately goes directly into your NOS again, so yeah. It's actually worth it to do it, so yeah. Love this track. <laughs> Just love being able to float around that corner. Or a little too shallow there. And in case you're wondering, yeah, you're, uh, you do get rec reputation points for doing these races as well, so... It's a good idea to not only win, but to beat them handily. Yep. We've got some sort of audio glitch going on here. It's an old game on new hardware, something like that's bound to happen, you know. I think this is only the second time I've run into this uh, audio issue, but yeah. Here's hoping it goes away at the end of the race. Just in time to finish the race. <laughs> and there we go. And yep, yeah, alright, so we got the full 300 reputation points and 1100 bucks. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, you lit it up out there, but remember, that was just a taste. You gotta keep winning to stay. People are taking notice of you. And it ain't all good. Don't ask me how, but you landed yourself a new set of wheels. I guess the sponsor saw something they liked. Head down to the car lot and pick something out. It's highlighted on your map. Later. Ah, good. <laughs> I was worried I'd have to restart the recording and hopefully not get that again. All right, so yeah, now they've got new inventory in the car lot, so that's what we're gonna do. But before we go down there, let's go meet up with that photographer to uh, get our vehicle put on the, uh, the DVD cover. And it's these kinds of things where. I generally like to have the uh, particle system on. Uh, oh, it's already on. I must have left it on when I was testing the uh, the uh, the show off NOS or the the NOS purge. All right, well, makes things easy, I guess. Check it out, bro. You just got featured on the DVD Bayview's Best. You now take a photo of your car and get on the cover of a DVD. Congratulations, dude. So now you're ready to play director for a day. Move your car around the zone and play with the camera angles to get the perfect shot for the perfect cover. When you're happy with the setup, just press the camera button and snap the pic. I like how glossy that red look, the, the red paint looks. I actually kind of like this thing. All right, now you can control the car. All right, what do we want to do here? What do we have to work with? Um, 
Let's see if we can do something with the fountains. It's uh, the best way to go. Let's go to the other side. It's weird driving like this, but... <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can do something with the fountains here. Alright. Back up. Yeah, that looks good. So yeah, show off. We can do... I think no, okay, we can't do the NOS, darn it. Because <laughs> the NOS, for me, is the same as the back up, back up, the, uh, back up, the back out button, so maybe if you uh, mapped it to a different button, then maybe it will work. I'll uh, keep that in mind for the next one when we uh, have to take a picture, just to see if that does, does make a difference, but anyways. Alright, and just to double check to make sure that, damn, that's it. Oh, see, this is going to be the, this is going to be the picture. There we go. And we get 600 bucks for our first DVD cover. So basically, as far as DVD covers go, and magazine covers as well, basically, it the amount of money you get is essentially your star rating times... Basically, $500 plus your star rating times 100. So in that case, we got 600. So, you know, the base is you know, $500. Our car is one star rating. Therefore, it's $100, $100 on top kind of thing. So, yeah. And uh, for every point up on the uh, visual rating you go, uh, you know, towards the next star, uh, you add that many that many dollars to, you know, the the amount that you get paid kind of thing. So, yeah. But that is that. All right. Let's, uh, let's go take a look at and see what's available at the... Uh, The vehicle itself doesn't cost us anything. I mean, in case you're wondering if we get to keep, uh, you know, uh, do we get to keep our current car? Yes. Uh, as long as you have an open slot in your garage, which we now have, as soon as we got the uh, the sponsor, we had a one of our uh, extra spots in the garage opened up or unlocked. So now that any time we try to pick a new car, well, when we try to pick a new car now, then it won't ask us to to trade in your car. So now we've got access to the Lincoln Navigator. And the Cadillac Escalade. So, yeah. There is one more as, uh, SUV to choose from, but obviously it has not been unlocked yet. But for me, I'm actually going to choose the Navigator. Uh, as far as the handling goes with these things, I find that the game tends to favor four-wheel drive vehicles to as be having better handling, which isn't necessarily true. Especially in, the, especially in my case where I've got the uh, stability control off. You generally can get better handling out of a rear-wheel drive car, or rear-wheel drive vehicle. So the Cadillac Escalade is four-wheel drive, and the Lincoln Navigator is rear-wheel drive. Just in case you're wondering. And the other one that we, the other SUV we can unlock is also four-wheel drive. So in this case, I'm going to choose the Lincoln Navigator. Now let's see what we, if there's anything we can do as far as performance-wise. Um, oh, and on that note, as you can see now that we are in an SUV, we've got SUV races open to us, so yeah, definitely worth, uh, worth, the, worth the time and effort to actually get one of these things right as soon as you can kind of thing. Um, we might be alright, I don't think... I don't think we need to worry about any more visual upgrades for the rest of the uh, the stage, which essentially means that we just spent two hundred and fifty dollars for a, a one-star car. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, yeah, pretty much I will be using the uh, the Corolla as my go-to car as far as visual upgrades goes. The rest, any other vehicles I get, will be pretty much strictly limited to uh, performance upgrades. Unless we get to the point where I've got so much money that uh, I don't know what to do with it, then I'll think about putting some visual upgrades into it. 
other vehicles, but yeah. the Corolla is going to be my main focus. Alright, let's see. Alright, um... So bolt on everything you can. Right here is the place to do it. What do I want to get with this thing? Because I know I've know I've got enough for like the for everything up until I believe the tires, brakes, and weight reduction. So, uh, what do I want to go with? Hmm. I'm probably gonna pass up on the transmission for now. I suppose hey, I could... your ride needs to run smarter with all its new parts, so upgrade your computer to optimize output. Let's go with the ECU. Apex, AEM, HP, Jackson, New Speed. And New Speed. Yeah, there we go. Uh, transmission. Now, mm. transmission is where you lose most of your power. Nah. So Tighten your ride and get rid of that stock suspension for firm hold and grip. It'd be nice if they uh, kept track of, if the developers had worked something in to keep track of when uh, she's actually talked about this kind of stuff, but I guess it is a new car, so maybe that's just what the condition was for it. This one, uh, yeah, let's go with the, the uh, hang on, let's go with tires first. Actually, nitrous no. oxide is the glycerin of the race the NOS. Uh, I got Nitrous Express last time, right? Let's go with NOS here. Uh, tires. Street tires. Uh, and let's go with Yokohamas. Uh, brakes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, well, I, I just did it, so I guess I, I gotta go with it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fine, I guess. Can we do the weight reduction still? Sweet. Alright, so we got $790 left to work with. So we got the NOS. Can do the suspension or the engine. Suspension it is. <laughs> Alright, Bill C. Yeah. It's going to HP, new speed. There we go. Alrighty, let's take a look at our uh, setups for this thing. Ah, uh, circuit, yes. Let's see how much horsepower this thing has. So we're currently sitting at 334.8 big BHP at 5,800 and 363.9 foot-pounds at 2,950. All right. Let's see if we can uh, tune that a bit better. Uh, this stuff, for actually... The one drawback you got to pay attention to with, as far as lowering, your, uh, lowering the vehicle um, yeah, it does. It can make you. It does make you corner better. However, it also makes it more difficult for you to keep control of your vehicle if you go over a bump, because <laughs> it just pretty much launches you. Really, it just it destabilizes the car, uh, the vehicle, a lot more. Uh, this, let's leave that there. ECU. Let's see what we can do as far as this goes. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to do this the uh, the old-fashioned way. All right, just did, decided to do that off screen there. Save some time, nitrous. Do the same thing we did before. Uh, I see your tires is fine. Directory, nothing there. Suspension, I yeah, leave that the way it is. All right. So yeah, I'm just gonna do all these setups. Uh, drag. Don't need it, unfortunately. I'm actually gonna show you something interesting. All right, so I'm done. So obviously I did my usual drift setup, the same kind of drift set setup I had for the uh, Corolla, one exception. Uh, oops, 
So yeah, don't want to keep that. The uh, keep it as high as possible off the ground. You know the uh, soft springs, soft sway bars. One thing you also might want to think about doing is rever uh, reducing the rear tire grip, uh, sp like if you're especially if you're using a left uh, rear-wheel drive vehicle. Uh, I would recommend doing this because this allows you to keep control. Like if you have the tire grip at the front still going strong, uh, that'll allow you to keep control of your vehicle. A bit easier. I found it to be quite easier uh, in you know in uh, test runs and all that kind of stuff. So that's how I usually set this up. Um, ECU did the same thing as I did have been doing so far. I found the easiest way to do is just to move this down to the bottom like usual and then just work on these to get them maxed out. And the NOS didn't have to do anything because we don't use NOS in the drifting. So as you might be able to be guessing, I will be showing you how this thing drifts. But unfortunately we're out of time for this episode, so that will have to wait. Oh wait, hang on, uh, one more thing. Um, unfortunately, just, I, I don't want to, it's... Just in case you get your hopes up, unfortunately, unless they're randomly, the race is randomly generated, which I doubt, we don't get any drag races throughout the game for, with the SUVs. So the only way you can, you know, drag race SUVs in this game is through the quick race option at the main menu. Uh, however, if you do decide to set up your, uh, your vehicle, the SUV for that, uh, the setup will carry over as long as you select your career uh, SUV. Uh, it will carry this setting over into the quick race. So at least then you'll still still be able to make use of the uh, the setups and all that kind of stuff. So just something to keep in mind. Um, hang on, let's put this back to normal. <laughs> yeah, just keep that in mind. Dang it. <laughs> um, so yeah, unfortunately, they did not include drag races. It doesn't look like so. Yeah. If you're getting your hopes out of, up about that, I'm sorry to dash them, but, you know, I didn't want you hoping for... Oh, oh, no. Uh, hopelessly help, hoping, you know, kind of that, that kind of stuff, that kind of stuff. So, anyways, I think I'm done for out of time for this episode. In the next episode, we may take we'll take this thing out to to see what it's like to race in it, and maybe even well, maybe we'll even do some of the drift races just to show you how I to see how this thing drifts compared to <laughs> the Corolla or pretty much any other vehicle. All right, so this is Intrepid eighty three signing off. Thank you for watching. And have a good one.